These may look like your average cells, but they are actually living biological robots created from human cells. Anthrobots are the first fully cellular living biological robots made up of human cells. Similar to how a tiny planted seed autonomously develops and grows up to be a plant, each one of these biological robots, an anthrobot, also develops from a seed, a single human cell planted into an extracellular matrix, into this multicellular motile machine. These tiny biological robots were created from tracheal cells, which vary in size. Researchers at Tufts University found a way for the cells to assemble on their own. But unlike any other machines that we know of, these robots, anthrobots, don't have any electrical wiring or mechanical parts. It's all living biological cells with an inherent ability to act as a machine. The fact that anthrobots are completely uh, biological in this way makes them fully compatible with other biological tissues and organisms like ourselves, opening up the avenue for potentially deploying these uh, machines in humans for healthcare purposes. Anthrobots move around using cilia, which are tiny hairs on their surface that mimic mucosal skin cells from the trachea. We're not using any genetic editing to produce these biobots. They are not genetically modified organisms. So when we make an anthrobot from a human donor cell, once its development is complete, which usually takes about three weeks, at the end that anthrobot has the exact same genetic makeup as the human donor, just in a different biological architecture. Researchers are still in the early stages of the study, but they envision various applications. Scientists are excited about their potential as healing tools for regeneration and disease treatment. There are numerous potential uses for anthrobots in personalized medicine and bioengineering. In the future, we may be able to take a person's own cells and use precisely designed stimuli to get them to adopt desired shapes and behaviors. We could reinsert them back into the body to have them perform therapeutic tasks such as sensing tumors or pathogens, laying down pro-regenerative molecules, scraping plaque off of artery walls, or repairing wounds or other defects.